Halloween can be spooky, cute, frightening, sweet, and funny. It just depends on your mood. So why not make an adorable cat Halloween this year? Meow. We all know cats are the most popular thing on YouTube. So why not be one for Halloween? I'm gonna show you how to go about being a cat two ways if you need a last minute Halloween costume. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is our sassy cat. The cat's most important thing is ears. So we're gonna take our sparkle felt and this is sticker felt. So it has the sticky back on it. We're gonna turn it over. Then we're gonna take our Sharpie and we're gonna just draw a cat ear. It's pretty much just a triangle, just make it a little more circular, round the edges a bit. You are going to draw two ears and then you're gonna cut that out. And now just trace that ear and then trace it on the other side so you get the reverse. Now you're gonna cut those out. So to make these a little more girly, we're gonna add the pink to the center of the ears. I found this awesome paper that's pretty much perfect for the inside of the ear. Test it out. Glue the pink to the black and then stick the two black sides together. You're not gonna stick the bottom parts together. For the bottom, you're gonna take your headband and you're just going to wrap this around the headband. One ear done, one more to go. So, our cat ears are complete. Now to finish off the look, we're gonna take mesh tights and cut them off. Cut off this end too. And you're gonna put it on. Figure out where you want your thumb to go. You're just going to find one or two and just cut those. Be careful not to cut your thumb. It's like a girlier version of a little cat paw. Now you're gonna do the same with the other leg. Measure them to make sure they're the same size. Then you're just gonna put that on. Be hold it for your thumb, like that. And you are good to go. With these two items and adding a boa tail, you are totally good. All right, now onto like an edgier biker cap. We are going to start off with a beanie. I already did an episode about how to make a beanie, so if you click right here, you can watch that. But I already have this one made, so let's get to the cat part. What you're gonna do is take your top edges and you're gonna add ears there. I am taking this snakeskin printed felt. I'm just gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna cut two triangles for the ears. I'm gonna make the shape of these ears a little more rounded. And just to make sure the ears are the same size, I'm gonna use one of these as a template for the other ear. So now we have our two ears and we're just gonna glue gun the two pieces together. Make sure you leave the bottoms of these unglued just like you did with the other ears. That way we can connect it to the beanie. Now to make these a little more edgy, I am going to glue on some studs. So as you can see, we left the bottom two flaps a little bit open, glue those right along the top edge of the hat. And hold it for a second. Let the glue dry for a couple seconds and then just try it on. We have a cat hat! Meow. All right, now for some last minute mitts. We are going to take a pair of gloves and you're just gonna chop the fingers off of them. Take the white felt that has a sticky back and you're gonna draw two paw prints. They kind of look like upside down hearts. and then you're gonna cut those out. After they're all cut out, you are going to peel back the paper and stick them down. Even though this is sticky felt, I would recommend gluing them down. And now I'm gonna turn the glove over, then use the rest of my studs just on the front. And once they're done, they will look a little something like this. 
have your paws, and then you have your edgy, rebellious cat on the outside. All you need is a leather jacket and a flannel and some black, and you are good to go. I want to see your Halloween inspirations, and we are going to take this to Pinterest. Awesomeness TV and I are going to be starting monthly themed boards on Pinterest. Each month, I will give you inspiration for your crafts on my board, and I can look at yours to get some inspiration for some future projects. So, make sure you use the hashtag to die for, and I can't wait to see what you start pinning. Happy Halloween! Thank you for watching me try to turn myself into a cat. Watch one of my last to dive for episodes by clicking right here. It's all about food. And then we have one ATV networker who's doing pretty cool things, so she's featured right here. Check them out. And then one of my favorite DIYs of the entire month is right here. I think this guru is doing something awesome and I love it. So, check those out. Bye.